In pop music, there are lots of techniques that can be used to make the music sound more interesting. And one of those things is to set chords up so that they sound way more satisfying when you land on them. And you can actually do this really easily using something called a 5-7-B chord. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So in music, you normally make songs using something called a scale, and a scale is made up of seven different letters. And the most easy example of this is a scale called C major, because it literally only uses the white notes on the piano, and that is the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And then in music, all you're trying to do is find relationships between these notes that you like. And one of the most common relationships that is pleasing to the ear is something called a triad chord. And that is where you play every other note from any of the notes in the scale. So you can have one starting on C, you can have one starting on D, E, F, G, A, B, and then you get back to essentially where you started with one starting on C. And that is what is used to make most pop songs. And not only that, but it's normally certain chords. So normally it's chord one, which in this case would be C. Chord six, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, would be A. Chord four, which would be F and chord five, which would be G. And that makes up a lot of pop songs. I've actually done a video on this on why pop songs mainly use four chords. But the problem is, is a lot of pop songs stop there. They just use those four chords. And one of the reasons why these four chords work so well together is because they are actually really closely related to each other and the keys are really closely related to each other. If you take a look at the circle of fifths, if we are in the key of C major, the next most sharpest key, which only has one sharp, is G major. So that's why G major is so closely related. On the other side, you have F, because F only has one flat, so there's only one note difference there as well. So that's why F is so closely related. And C major's relative minor is A minor, so that's why chord 6 is so closely related. So all of these chords and their respective scales all work really well together. And not only that, you can actually add a note called the seventh, which is where you play the seventh note from the beginning. So you've got note one, three, five, and seven, like this. And that just adds some extra flavour to the chords. And you can use those as and where you want to, just to add that extra character. Sometimes you might want a sound that's more simple and that's a bit more strong. Or sometimes you might want that jazzy tone. But one of these chords is the most important seventh chord in music. And that is chord five. And the reason for that is because in most classical music and classical music history, chord five to chord one has been a very, very strong combination of chords to make it sound more final and finished. So if I play chord five and then chord one, it feels like you've arrived home, back to where you started, back to where the start of the piece was. And especially if you add that seventh to the five chord. It sounds really resolved and final. It sounds very classical. The interesting thing about this is because it sounds so resolved, you can actually do this with any chord in the scale and make every chord sound resolved and sort of final. So if I'm playing using the scale and the key of C major, if I want to go to a different chord in that scale, let's say I like the sound of chord six, and I'm gonna use that as my next chord, what I can do is I can find what chord five of that new chord would be. So if A is now chord one, chord five would be an E. And if I play an E seven chord before I play the A chord, it's gonna make the A sound really final, like this. And the reason for this is because you're kind of temporarily changing your scale. We've now gone from the key of C major to the key of A minor just because we've played that chord five in between. And because your ears are normally expecting to stay using the same scale, as soon as you add that interesting chord in to pivot you, you kind of get that eyebrow moment. Now, another thing that you can do to make it sound even more smoother is play a 5-7-B chord. Now, we've already covered what a 5-7 is, because that's just chord 5 with the 7th on it. But all B means is that you're using the second note of the chord as your bass note. So if I was to play an E7 chord with an E in the bass, that would be a 5-7-A. If I played the G sharp in the bass, that would be a 5-7-B. If I played the B in the bass, 5-7-C. And a D in the bass would be 5-7-D. 
Now, if you play 5-7-A, that sounds very strong and you're having to jump around a lot on the piano to get from C to E to A. But if you play the B note in the chord, you're going C, G sharp, and then A. And the G sharp being quite close to that A means that your ear can follow it. And also it weakens that chord five just a little bit by not having the root note in the bass. And you can actually do this with a lot of chords in the scales. You can just play chord five of that new chord and it will add so much more interest. But the best ones to do this with are chords one, chord four, chord five and chord six. So if we take an F chord, because that's chord four in C, chord five of F would be a C chord. And if we add that dominant seventh, like that, you could go C to A, and then you could do the same here, which gives you a really settled sound going to F. And then for G, you could do the same. So chord five of G is D. So if you play a D chord with the seventh on top of it as well. So you get something like this. And all of those sound much more satisfying to me compared to... You actually get... And then to make it sound even more interesting, you could even add the sevenths to your normal chords. So you're essentially adding sevenths to everything because that always makes things sound better. So you could get something like this. know in more depth why most pop songs only use four chords then check out this video and I will see you there <laughs>